Hello and welcome to our workplace wellness project. Our title is Butter a Carb, Separating Nutrition Facts from Fiction. And our group members consist of Matthew, Courtney, Anastasia, Amelia, and Cameron. For our project location and contact person, we're going to do our program in the Pittsburgh City Schools in conjunction with the Pittsburgh Federation of Teachers. And then our contact there is Valerie Yucco. She is the health and wellness coordinator at the Barack, o excuse me, Barack Obama Academy of International Studies. The goal of our project is to educate and improve the dietary habits of the participating teachers within this school system. The education will focus on variety, nutrient density, and portion control. The reason we decided on this goal is because teachers as well as the students are faced with the choice of either bringing their lunch or eating from the cafeteria, and in either case, the proper education is needed to make the best nutrition decisions possible. The three objectives that we've chosen are to increase the number of participants who can identify nutrient-dense foods, um, to increase the number of participants who eat well-balanced meals in the work setting, and to increase the number of participants who can understand their individual calorie limits. The benefits of adopting this program are that workplace absences will be decreased, um, teachers will have increased productivity, potential insurance incentives, there will be decreased health care costs, um, benefits to education, and the teachers will be positive role models to the students. So we're planning this out as a three lecture series. The first lecture is what the heck is a micro, macronutrient? We'll explain the difference between carbohydrates, fats, and proteins and provide examples of each one. We'll also be dispelling certain myths surrounding foods and fad diets, such as the keto diet, the paleo diet, and things such as potatoes are carbs, but butter is not. Lecture two will centerize supersize is not a proper portion, illustrating how to estimate portion sizing using my plate or various other uh, methods to estimate portions, as well as providing examples of the best options of grains, proteins, and dairies, such as whole grains, lean meats and beans, low-fat yogurt, and that. Lecture three will be, I ate what? Different food tracking techniques will be shown, as well as how to utilize my plate and uh, discussion of different food and fitness trackers, such as MyFitnessPal or Fitbits. So with these lectures, we're going to have three corresponding activities. Our first, we're going to have macronutrient serving bracelets. So basically, you'll have a certain number of bracelets, each color representing a different food group. And so basically, you wear them all on one arm. And as you go throughout the day, when you eat, say, a serving of fruit, say if red represented fruit, you'd take a red bracelet and you'd put it on your other arm. So then by the end of the day, you can see how many servings of each portion of different nutrients that you've had in a day um, to kind of help people be aware of what they're eating and then how much they're missing. And then our second activity, we'll do portion estimations. So maybe we'll give people a bowl and give them a box of cereal and say, okay, pour yourself a bowl of cereal. And then we'll measure out what the serving size is and compare the differences so people can see how much they're eating versus how much the nutrient fact label says they should be eating based on the box. Uh, we can also use other visuals for portions such as a deck of cards is three ounces of meat, you know, the top part of your thumb is a tablespoon of fat, things like that. So people can get awareness and have a visual idea of what a portion looks like. And then our third activity corresponding with our lectures, we're going to give out healthy recipes and we're also going to look at some my plate activities so people can again visually see that distribution of foods throughout their day. In evaluating our um, project, we will do a baseline survey to be able to compare our next surveys to, um, to see if there's an increase for each lecture um, based on calorie uh, adherence or calorie limit adherence. 
identifying nutrient dense foods and eating nutritionally balanced meals at work. And so um, after each lecture series, we will hand out another survey. And then after a six month, we will do a follow up um, to identify increases in all three areas based on um, monthly data. And next is an example of our survey. Just a few questions real quick to go over um, that we would evaluate would be, um, what does healthy eating mean to you? Um, do you do any research or, or have um, any kind of resources that you look to for um, foods what, that you eat? And um, do you normally consume fruits and vegetables and how many of those per day? And so we would evaluate this same um, survey based on baseline all three lecture series and then um, the six month follow up. We're really hoping that by providing these lecture series will enhance and improve the teachers lives and that of the students around them. By reducing absences gives the kids a more consistent teaching uh, schedule but also just uh, modeling behavior is always a good thing. Um, so. Thank you. Have a nice day.